Welcome back to the Admin Console. Today you'll learn how to streamline your slides to use different settings per location. If you have multiple screens across the country, each displaying different content on the same slide template, you may find that your slides get a little crowded with duplicates. You can keep your slides organized by using dynamic content. Dynamic content allows you to have one slide that will automatically change its settings, depending on where it is being shown. For example, you can have one traffic camera slide that will show the feeds closest to the location it is showing on. Let's get started! Open the digital signage settings to access the dynamic content settings, or open the settings icon on the Contegra desktop. Let's create a new dynamic content feed and call it traffic cameras. By default, the settings should be blank. To see the content options, select the slide template. Since we're making a traffic cameras feed, select the traffic cameras template. You will now see the first location row appear in the settings. But before we edit that, we must choose which settings will be decided per location and which will be the same for all screens. To do this, open the items to display. There will be a lot of settings here, but don't worry. These will be exactly the same as the settings in the regular slide. To keep things simple, this dynamic content will only change the traffic camera feed and descriptions. Everything else will be exactly the same across all slides. Go ahead and tick cameras one through four. When prompted, Click Yes to continue. Now the location settings can be added. Open the first row and you will see the fields we added in Items to Display. Let's make the first row of settings for Auckland. Open and choose the camera feed and edit these just as you would when making a regular slide. Choose Auckland as the location for this row and save the dynamic content. Let's add another row for Wellington. and for Dunedin. We can now create a slide that uses our dynamic content settings. Open the Slides tab and create a new slide. Since our dynamic content is for the traffic camera slide, go ahead and select the Entertainment Traffic Camera Slide template. Once the slide refreshes, select our dynamic content feed. You should now see that the fields we filled out are in grey. This is because they are now dynamically set up, depending on the location of the screen. The remaining settings can be changed as if for a regular slide. They will be constant across all devices. After the rest of these have been filled, our dynamic content slide will be ready to be assigned to a playlist. We can choose which location to preview the slide as. This allows you to view the slide as if from one of these locations. If we preview as Wellington, you will see that the grayed out fields now show the Wellington options. Remember, the grayed out fields are dynamically set, so if you need to change any of these, just update the dynamic content settings. Let's save our new slide and assign it to the Auckland, Dunedin and Wellington playlists. Now the slide will show on each of these screens and use the camera feed that matches that location. You are now ready to use dynamic content to dynamically set any slide template to better manage your slides.